what we're doing here is we're patching up a cement foundation. And I already started. But I'm going to show you what's going on here. First of all, all this stuff is irregular. And it's all falling apart down here. So the first thing we want to do is just like a dentist, you get down here and you get into the, the bad spots. And you get the bad spots off. Just like this. If it ain't bad, you leave it there. That's so all we're going to do is, see the wire mesh there? This here's wire mesh, right there. I don't know if you can see that. What happens was, this was a stone foundation. They put wire mesh over it. And really, you don't have to do that. It's not unaccessible. Acce uh, I don't know what the word is. But uh, what we do there, once we get that kind of cleaned up, some people power wash it. I just like to use a wire brush. See the wire brush? Get it all cleaned off. Just like that. And then we just go like this. Hear that? That's hollow. It's not bad though. Alright. Right there. Soft spot. Just like a dentist. Just tear out the bad spots. See the wire mesh in there? Any more we glue everything. That's that. A little more. See we're just getting a trowel underneath it. See that? Ripping it off. That's what we're doing. Now, just so you know, patch this up. I'm going to put a bucket of cement in. Or that's a man, a bucket of sand, half a bucket of Portland. That's this stuff that comes in a bag, Portland. Then I get some fiberglass, a little secret of mine. I take this fiberglass, comes from a concrete company, and I add that into it. Just like that. And then I mix it together, dry it first. And I add some water. I don't want it too wet because I want it kind of stiff. Now, we kind of got all the bad spots off. See that? And I got my cement here. See, it's a little stiff. And I'll tell you why it's a little stiff because it's November 1st in Pennsylvania. It's supposed to even smell the snow tomorrow. So the first thing we do is we get my sprayer right here. And I fill it with water. And I give it a good spraying down. You can use a hose if you want. This is around the window. Uh, the battery went dead when I was doing the other one, so I'm going to charge it up again. See how I wet this real good? I always say in my videos, anytime. You want cement to stick, you gotta wet it. So what I do is I get my trowel, see? I put it right over the wetness. Now if you scrape it off there, you see how it's stuck? That's because it's wet. If it ain't wet, it's not gonna stick. And you just go over it like this. And you're filling all them spots like that. See that? It's wet. It'll stick. You keep filling it in. What I'm doing is I'm putting this, see this rubber glove? I'm just getting that and I'm shoving that cement down in them little cracks right there. That's all I gotta do. Like I said, I got fiberglass in it here and I don't know if you could see that fiberglass, but there's little things. It's another thing that kind of holds it together. I mean, uh, they got all these things, these bonding agents and everything. Well, I've been doing this since 1969, and 
I had opportunities to use them, but if you ever look in, in uh, the ingredients, it might have a little glue in, and most of them are Portland cement anyway. Now, when you get that all together, you get your sponge, and your water, and you rinse it out, and you go over it like this. See that? That smooths that all out. And because this is a uh, we're matching the sand finish here. And we're smoothing that all out. See that? It's, this whole foundation goes this way because it's an old stone foundation. And that's how we do it. Now, when you're all done, you just go get yourself a stucco paint. And you just start painting over. That's it. Wait, uh, the longer you wait for it to dry, the cement, the better off you are. Sometimes cement takes uh, 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 two weeks to dry. Use your own discretion. All right, you see this? This is an old stone foundation that we're going to pour concrete against it. So what we don't want to do is have the concrete sticking to that. Concrete's got to be separate. So I'm going to show you how we just patch it up. Okay, all we're going to do is patch this up. That's all. Just keep it off first, and like I always get my little. You want concrete or cement to stick something? You got to wet it. Remember I told you that. And then we just get our trowel with our cement. This is November, and we throw it in there, just like that. See? No use messing around. You throw it in. Then we get a little rock here and there. And you, you patch it up. That's all. In big holes. And you just throw it. Press it in. This is our first coat of cement. See that? We just put it in there. Just scratch it with a broom if you want. Then tomorrow we'll come and put another coat on. So uh, do the same thing, wet it, put another coat on. Just like body work in a car, keep going over until you get it flat. We're back here on the second day. This is hard. See, this is hard. It's not 100% hard, it's hard enough. You really don't have to wet it the second day, but I always like to just do a little wetting down. The same thing, if you ever want cement to stick, you go like this. See, and then it sticks. A little secret. But, I just blow it on again. Plaster it on. Fill it in again. Just like body work. Sometimes you come here, the cement shrink. It has little, little cracks in it. That's normal because cement is like mud pies. And it shrinks. And uh, you'd expect that. You're just going in the bad spots now. Make that smooth. Now, well, like I said, that's the second coat. You either put a third coat on or wait to get the sponge and just sponge over the top of it. Just like that. Just kind of visit it. Little the longer you wait, sometimes you got to wait a long time before you sponge it. Depends on what you're looking for. See this little crack here? That's you see that in a lot of foundations. Just a little crack. Most people make the mistake and they be going like this to fix it. That's not what you do. Here's what you do. You can either get the sprayer or wet it with a sponge like that, and you get a little cement on a sponge and you just rub it in. You see that? And then you can paint it over. One 